Hey everyone, it is Mona here at Crab Clatch and today is Friday. That means it is another Coaster Friday. Today we're gonna do some resin art coasters. This is a perfect size project for if you want to try like the bigger canvas resin art projects, but maybe you're a little intimidated. Um, this is perfect to kind of wet your feet and kind of dip your toe into the whole process and you'll get really great results and you might then want to try something larger or just if you love doing resin art, this is a perfect way to do it in a usable fashion if you don't have room to hang art on all your walls. I found these wood squares at Michael's and they're just under four inches in size and they are perfect to work as a coaster. The very first thing I'm gonna do is give them a couple coats of paint just to kind of seal the wood and get them ready for the resin. I'm just gonna start off painting these white just to get them sealed. Okay, for this, I have mixed two ounces of resin and I've mixed my colors. I've mixed some pigment powder and it's a gold and I have some transparent blue, a bright pink, a silver glitter, and a white. So that's the color combination I'm going for. You never know how these are gonna turn out until you do it. So I'm going to start with some of the gold and I'm going to kind of just go anywhere I want and I'm gonna cross over to the other coaster. And remember, it's all gonna run together and just become whatever it wants to become. And remember, you wanna get the edges too. And you can pick these up and move them around if you want, or you can use like a metal spatula, you could use your stir stick, um, and you could just move stuff around a little bit to get it where you want it to. If you wanna add a little texture in there, if there's spots that aren't covered, you can manipulate it a little bit. Once you have all your resin in place, you want to take your lighter, you could do a torch, and just go over everything and pop the bubbles. And again, you can manipulate it some more, or you can just let it be whatever it wants to be. And then you want to let it sit a minimum of 12 hours, and then we'll come back and check them out. Here are the coasters. They're cured, and they look pretty fabulous. So all that's left is the back. And we have some little raised drips. You can sand that right down. Throw some paint on there, seal it with um, a little varnish or something, and you're all finished. However, what I'm going to do is next week, we're gonna tackle the backside. We'll do the same colors, but we'll, we'll kind of manipulate it a little bit more and see what kind of an effect that we get there. So I don't need to fully sand this down. I don't need to paint it again. I am just gonna trim it down with my Dremel or sand them down just a little bit so that they're flat enough so when I put the next layer of resin it'll be nice and even like this one happens to be pretty raised if they were flatter I wouldn't even have to do that step so you can handle it any way you want but in the meantime look how cool they are you can see the glitter in there the different colors where they blended together and this is a less intimidating alternative if you don't want to do a large canvas so be sure to let me know what you think of them in the comments below and we'll tackle the back side next week and we'll manipulate the resin a little more to see if we can't get some cool swirls so it'll still be a matching set because we'll do the same colors but we'll just have maybe a little bit of a different effect hey guys thanks for watching i hope you like the resin art coasters and remember to come back next week and see what happens on the back side i'm going to let them fully cure and then i'll tackle that 
And remember, life's too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.